what's up my beautiful people and welcome back to my channel so today as you guys can see from the title we are talking about the cons to having thick locks i wanted to bring this video to you guys first before i did the pros because i just kind of want to get the cons out the way and i was in the midst of thinking about different hair videos that i could do because if you guys don't know i only retwist my hair twice a year so it's kind of difficult for me to make content especially when i am in a stage where i'm just letting my locks hang soon i will be styling my locks and i will be making some flaxseed gel stay tuned and make sure you subscribe for those type of videos okay because they are on the way I'm not going to ramble on too much. I'm just going to get straight into the video. And just so that this video is not too long, I already pre-wrote my list right here. So if you guys see me looking down, that is why. The first con to having thick, short locks is the ugly stage. I don't really like to call it the ugly stage because I feel as though it was a very beautiful stage for me and it really gave me a lot of confidence and it really taught me to love myself in my own skin. I was used to doing braids a lot. I was used to doing natural hairstyles and I was just used to doing things like that. But I decided to lock my hair and in deciding to lock my hair, I had to go through the ugly stage which everybody goes through through but i just want to get this out the way because i'm so uncomfortable with the ugly stage i want to call it the growth stage or the beginning of the process or not really quotations but the beginning of the process so the beginning of the process with locks of any size we all know that they're not going to look as good as when they get older the older your locks get the better they look in my opinion so yes that stage was definitely a stage for me i definitely had to keep my um hair twisted and continue to you know manipulate it so that it didn't look too out of hand because y'all i know i want to be able to only do my hair twice a year but at that time it was not possible i still want to look somewhat um present somewhat presentable so and that's in that stage it kind of it went cray cray okay y'all it just went crazy so definitely and that runs me into my next con that people misunderstand the hairstyle or some people think that your hair is not done um I'm gonna try to be really nice in my response to this. I have experienced times where I was working in the shop and everybody wants to go out and they're like, oh, you need to do something to your hair. What are you gonna do to your hair? And I'm like, my hair is done. Like, what's wrong with my hair? I don't like to be put into a standard of someone who looks different than me. So, and I'm gonna just leave that there. So, <laughs> you know, I'm just, I wear my hair how I wear my hair. This is not an ugly style. It's not a your hair's not done type of thing. My hair is shampooed on time. My hair is conditioned. I spray my rose water oils on it to give it that nice shine and that leave-in condition. But at the same time, it can also work as a as a pre-shampoo because basically it has different essential oils that are cleansing. So it is, you know kind of loosening the dirt up from your hair then you can go and shampoo it and your hair will be clean baby that's done all the time my hair is not dry my hair gets all like on time okay i'm a licensed cosmetologist my word on anything with hair is very credible because this is my practice this is my study i went to school and i had the credentials to help people be more knowledgeable on hair so i just wanted to deal with that response you know kind of like that where people be like oh what's wrong with your hair why your hair look like that things of that nature is just like okay give it up i don't want to wear someone else's hair in my hair where i haven't been to their country i have never seen them talk to them i don't know what type of person they are i'm just putting hair in just because it looks good it's just not 
what I decide to do. I love it. I love to see it. I'm a hairstylist. I love to see the different styles and people that do choose to wear wigs and things. But please don't come and try to basically say that something doesn't look as good on someone else. Maybe on you, you could say like, yeah, that's not cute. But just like be respectful of other people's style and what other people like to like to wear let me just let me just go ahead and say that the most high gave me this hair for a reason my creator gave me this hair for a reason he didn't give it to me to you know beat it up and things of that nature my hair is actually in its most healthiest state than it's been in in years so thank you so much for your concern but my hair is done okay the most high did his work when he made my hair and if i don't comb it it would have went like this anyway i just wanted you know parts and things of that nature i just didn't want them small you know but thank you for your concern uh, the third con that i have with thick short locks is there are certain styles that you can't achieve however sometimes hairstyles feel limited like it just feels like what am i going to do with my hair i just did that style i did that style about three times i wear this style every day like what is it that i'm going to do with my hair now and that kind of y'all i'm not gonna lie that gets to me too i just be like are you freaking kidding me um <laughs> what am i going to do with my hair and sometimes i'd be like that probably just means to just wear it down because like why why are we going through this but yeah sometimes with short locks especially when they're bigger hairstyles can definitely definitely feel limited af so that is one and that brings me to my next con you could attempt to do a style or you can envision a style in your head and be like i'm going to do that in my hair but sometimes we forget certain factors about the actual hairstyle like how much hair does that take to do this that and the third and sometimes it may not come out exactly how you want it to be meaning like if we think of a hairstyle like oh i see my ponytail getting longer let me go ahead and barrel it up and do a hairstyle like that our locks are of course going to appear shorter because we are doing you know the barrel just like when you get braids or when you get twists your hair seems shorter than if you just you know get it straightened in or just wear it out it looks a lot shorter because you know the hair is going amongst each other the hair isn't manipulated to be completely sturdy if that makes sense like i've definitely had styles in the past that they were cute don't get me wrong but it just wasn't what i was envisioning sometimes we do have to learn how to you know add hair to make it fuller you know what i'm saying when we want these types of hairstyles and we have to keep that in mind because if we just use our hair i would say seven times out of ten the hairstyle won't look completely how you thought it was going to look especially with thicker locks and shorter locks too so especially with shorter thicker locks the fifth thing you guys is that things get stuck in my locks like for example i have to wear a bonnet to sleep if i don't want anything at all in my hair shout out to k2 couture that's the bonnets i wear and make sure you click the link in my description box if you want a k2 couture bonnet they do not come off they k2 couture also has shower caps if you need that and your hair will not get wet at all if i lay down and say i'm not home because this doesn't really happen when i'm home because i don't really use pillows and i have pillowcases but if i stay over a friend's house and say they have maybe feathers on their couch or feathers on their bed or they may have like lint somewhere the lint is caught in my hair y'all like i be finding lint and i be just taking it out like oh my god so yes the lint be there is it oh not only does the lint sorry y'all my wrist hurt y'all heard that but not only does the lint be there but feathers get stuck in it too and then like sometimes my clients be like what is that in your hair and then i have to pull it out and be like oh my god but yes sometimes if you go outside leaves get stuck in your hair y'all it's just it's a lot okay <laughs> a leaf will literally just attach itself and you have to like pull it off because it's stuck you know so yeah things get stuck which brings me into the sixth con which is my locks stay in my face y'all i don't know if y'all can see y'all probably seen 
I kind of like flicked both of these kind of back not too long ago and as you can see from this one like they don't really stay like if I try to they're not going to stay they're going to flip back over because they're not heavy enough they're not long enough so they just like flop back to where they were so saying that to say they be in my face a lot like it, it's so irritating sometimes because I might be trying to do something I might be trying to see something and the lock is right here in my eye or like y'all it's just it's a lot like it just stays in your face they don't want to leave me alone but they gonna get longer one day and I won't have to deal with this so it's pretty worth it because it's a temporary thing but that brings me into my next one because they're always in my face y'all if I'm eating sometimes like food would get on it which is disgusting I just be like bruh like I have to tie my hair back before I eat before I smoke before I drink anything um cook all of that I have to move my hair because my hair gets in my face and it's just it's, it don't be giving y'all I just don't be wanting my hair all up in my face like absolutely not the eighth con is that thicker locks take longer to lock up smaller locks are kind of easier to lock up because it's a lot less hair trying to tangle amongst each other but with thicker locks it definitely takes a longer time because they're thicker and sometimes they come out i had to like two strand mines and i had an undercut in the back so the little teeny ones some of them i had to like <laughs> twist but I had to like plait it at the end I had to put a rubber band on it like because it was a blunt cut I had to put a rubber band on it but yeah it just it's definitely it they definitely take a lot longer to lock up my locks took about maybe a year and a month to go ahead and fully lock when I started my locks y'all they was just like little curly twists and then when they started to get like a little older then people thought it was like a twist out because that's how Usually some people twist look and then they eventually matured and started to look like locks to where people don't have to ask me like, oh, are those locks? Is that a twist out? I didn't want to ask so I didn't want to offend anybody and things of that nature, which it wouldn't have offended me. But yeah, they definitely take a little longer to lock up than smaller locks. And the ninth and final con of having thick locks this is not really a thick short lock thing but it might be though i don't know yet like i y'all know i just got the short ones i ain't had the long ones yet so they hurt more to retwist where my hair was undercut those ones in the back were small and of course they lock faster like i said in the previous um con but also they were a lot easier to retwist when they were smaller but now that i added a couple together they definitely hurt to retwist so i definitely be waiting until i got a lot of new growth to go ahead and do that or i might even look into crocheting and getting them crocheted i'm not gonna lie to you guys they hurt more because it sometimes feel like because they're so big it's like bringing one side of your scalp to the other side to, to, to do the two strands with oh my gosh y'all don't let me think about it it hurts it hurts it hurts but i hope you guys like this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up also if you haven't already please go ahead and subscribe and don't forget to turn those post notification bells so you know every time i post and don't forget to comment if you have any questions any video requests or if you just want to talk to me because i'll be bored but you already know it's your girl candy g in the place to be so comment down below and i'll get to you for sure i love you guys so 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 much finish the heart with me and without a doubt, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.